everybody. I'm Marta McGonigal with Actors Reporter and you're watching interviews. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm here today with a wonderfully, amazingly talented actor, Michael Welch. Hi Michael. Well, that's very kind. How are you? I'm doing great. Oh, he asked how I was. I'm doing great. Thank oh, you good. so much for yeah. asking. He's sweet as you can tell. We're here for Twilight Eclipse. Uh -huh. This is about to come out. Yeah. Everyone is extremely excited. I have to know, have you seen it yet? I have. <gasps> I, I just saw it a couple days ago, and it is the best film in the franchise by far, I think, for me. And I'll tell you why, because it, it, it contains all of the elements of the first two. And in fact, the elements of the first two get stronger. I mean, that, that love triangle gets, uh, gets really tense, uh, the, the relationship between uh, Jacob and Edward uh, really develops nicely and they work amazingly well together and, and actually builds to somewhat of a crescendo and, and it's also got a you know a bit of a, a bit of an edge a bit of uh, a little darker tinge to it uh, there's some vampire fighting which is like <gasps> really cool it's really good um, and uh, I just think I, I think Eclipse is the strongest story in in the franchise I think it's really rich and, and full and uh, a really interesting step in, in Bella's uh, maturation process. So uh, I, I think people are going to love it. I, I love it. Okay, so you play Mike Newton, right? Tell me a little bit about your character. <laughs> Mike Newton is a, a lovely character. He really is. I mean, I, I, I like him a lot. He's, 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 he's like equal parts annoying and endearing, you know? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but he's that guy. He's that guy in high school, and everybody knows that guy, the guy who goes like this, like I did at the end of the first one. Um, and and I, I really feel like Mike Newton represents a very specific part of the high school experience. And I think that people can, can really um, empathize with what he goes through. I know I certainly connected with, with Mike Newton. Uh, you know, I went through a similar journey in, in high school. I it was, you know, the girl that I was, would have died for, would have oh. killed for. Uh, and, you know, she was into somebody else. Aww. Granted, not not um, you know people as hot as Taylor Lautner and Rob <laughs> Pattinson. I, I think that's what makes him finally give up in the end. He's like, you know what? I can't I can't compete with these guys. This is ridiculous. Um, but, uh, but so yeah, I think that a lot of people can can connect with that. And I you know, I think that that's something that this this franchise has really tapped into nicely. Is that that feeling of being in love at like seventeen? You know, it, there's. There's nothing like that. You never, no. you never quite feel that again. Love evolves and it changes, and it's it's something different. But just that, you know, purely emotional, visceral, hormonal <laughs> reaction that you have at that age, it, it comes up immediately. It come, you, I just mentioned it, and you, you feel it. <laughs> yes. You understand it. Um, and that first crush, yeah, no yeah. one will ever forget that first crush. No. So, no. so you, so that's why I think this franchise has been so successful, and it's been kind of fun to. Uh, you know, to reconnect with that and to, to tap into that again. That's, that's beautiful. When you work on a movie, you, you spend like three months with somebody, you know, yeah. or with a group of people, you get really close to them, and then more often, more often than not, unfortunately, you never see them again. So it's been really nice to, over the course of these past two years, and, and hopefully over the next two years, um, to come back to the same family, you know, to the same group of people, uh, and, and to see how everybody's doing, how everybody's handling this. And what's funny, what's interesting about this is that none of us were famous coming into this. I mean, they, I think they intentionally got like a, a, an unknown cast, except maybe, maybe some people knew Kristen, I'm, I'm sure. But yeah. uh, so we've all been on this boat together. We've all been on this, this, this journey almost as one. And it's, it's quite a bonding experience um, to, to go through something like this together. Uh, so I have, I've developed really good relationships. I'm, Justin Chan is, is my boy. He's, he's <laughs> one of my best friends. I uh, hang out with him all the time. And so um, cool. Yeah, I mean, you do tend to, like high school, kind of stick with your, your own group just because, you know, th these are the people that uh, uh, you're, you're closest to as you've, you know, uh, gone on this journey. So I'm sure the wolf pack kind of stick together, the Collins kind of stick together, the high school kids, we kind of stick together. Uh, but they're all great. I mean, I, I see them whenever I can. I always, we always try and hang out when we're filming. Uh, I see them at Twilight 
events and conventions like all the time. I love the Wolf Boys, man. They're, they're <laughs> fantastic. Is that how you greet them, the Wolf Boys? That's, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly it. Yeah, I greet them howling. Every time <laughs> Wait, actually, that leads into my next question. What? Tell me about a really funny experience, something that your viewers would love to know about from set or with the Wolf Boys or something that sticks out in your mind. Yeah, well, the uh, I can tell you the, the Wolf Boys are a bunch of goofballs. Um, Alex Mraz, total goofball. Bronson, he's just like crazy. He's a madman. Uh, they're just fun. These are just fun people to hang out with. I think some of my favorite memories uh, have been just getting together and having uh, dinners with, with the cast. I mean, that's what we tend to do when we're working on these movies. Like at the end of a long day shooting, you know, we get together however many people we can and we and we'll go to like a nice like Chinese restaurant or a Mexican restaurant or something like that. And if, uh, if I'm lucky, you know, we keep the party going, we go back to somebody's hotel room um, and uh, you know, sometimes like Rob plays us some of his music and, you know. Uh, oh, wow. That's something that we won't get. <laughs> no, no. It's amazing. I've, I've, I've seen uh, Rob uh, like wrestling a few times too, if I'm, if I'm correct. Hope I'm not breaking any. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you uh -huh. had so much success from, from Twilight, the Twilight series. You have to have so many amazing plans coming up. What do you have planned for next? What do you have planned for this summer? What's next for you? Well, this summer, uh, I have a, a crazy summer. I'm, I'm going to, actually, I'll mention this one thing first. I'm, I'm doing something called the Young Playwrights Festival, which has been going on in LA for about um, 20 years. Uh, it's teenage playwrights send in one act plays and, uh, and they pick 12 and we put on productions of, of these shows. Uh, and they're incredible. I'm doing. I'm working on a play this year by a 14-year-old girl, um, and you would never know it because it's amazing. And I'm working with Heather Morris from Glee. They get great actors to do it. Uh, wow. It's incredible. So I'm doing that. That's coming up in like two weeks. Then after that, we have you know the premiere, which is going to be crazy as always is. It's going to be insane. Insane. Yeah. It gets crazier every year. Um, and then I'm going to Paris. Uh, for a Twilight convention. Paris? It's just nuts. Yeah, going to Paris. Amazing. I'm gonna be there for a week. And then uh, I have I have an opportunity to, to, to work with the, uh, the USO. I'm gonna go um, to, to Germany at the, the military base there and visit some, some families and some soldiers. That is so beautiful, yeah. wow. You're able to use your fame to help out so many people now, I'm sure. You know, it's, yeah, I mean, that's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> okay, I, I can I can just tell you, like I know, it's we know in the cast that we're not that big a deal, but the thing is, we also know that we are part of something that makes people really happy. Getting to like meet a young girl, and 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 through me, sort of get a taste of that that magic and that and that thing that she's so passionate about and brings her so much joy. It's 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 indescribable. I mean. It's really, really remarkable to, to, to be a part of that. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to sound too savvy or anything. But, uh, no, that was really well put. It was beautiful that you're using your fame for something very good and inspiring and bringing happiness to everyone, including us at Actors <laughs> Reporter. So thank you so much, really. Hey, thank you so much for your time today. We're going really to have tons of viewers, I'm sure, cool. watching, coming up. <laughs> and I um, just want to thank you and wish you all the best. It was a pleasure. Yeah, have a great so summer. Thanks, guys. Thank you.